procedures. You know we've talked about women getting everything from butt injections to breast injections, everything from silicone to whatever else, caulk. You know, this one was new, though. 22-year-old man, 22, lives in New Jersey. Well, he actually had an illegal silicone injection to enlarge his penis, and he died of an embolism. And the injector was a 38-year-old New Jersey woman who did plead guilty to causing the man's death by injecting silicone. It was ruled a homicide. But you have to understand, when you inject these foreign substances, it can lead to an embolism because of that silicone gets into your art, your uh, vascular system, yep. it can very easily go, it ends up in your lungs, blocks blood flow to your lungs, you become hypoxic, which is severely low oxygen levels, and it can kill you. Um, just being a sexologist, I think the number one question I always get from guys is, how can I make my penis bigger? So it's, it's really? interesting, yes, and it's interesting, because surgically there are ways to actually do that, but they're never, there's never a satisfaction. We find that 70% of guys who actually even get surgery to get penis enhancements usually aren't even happy. happy with it. And, you know, at the end of the day, when a guy is wanting a, a larger penis, it's usually he wants it to be this, this massive thing that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's only a reality in his imagination. Right. Well, look. It's <laughs> interesting. Or you don't know how to use it. <laughs> or it doesn't work. Right? <laughs> But it's, it's interesting because this so is men one of the rare, don't do it. This is one of the rare times we are. We're talking about a man doing something that just seems outlandish right. and crazy. Right. But you know, what makes me sad is obviously I get the pleasure of hosting the show and we get to talk scientifically about all these things. But yeah. you know, you think about all these teenage, teenage, I'll call them boys mm -hmm. even, who have gone through puberty and. They're just, they're, they're idealizing maybe some magazine they saw somewhere. Just going to be a realist with, you know, with a guy on the cover who's got, you know, it's, it's massive. And, 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 you know, this 16-year-old boy somewhere is thinking he's inept. Yeah. And it's kind of, it's unfortunate it because is. we don't talk about it a lot. It is. So it's so, you know... <laughs> because true, on the other side of that, guys need to hear our conversation that, you know, when women actually run into one that's like this big, they're like, we talk to each other and say, girl, I told him, no way, put that up. I mean, so that's the part that you guys don't hear, is that there is a too large, there is a too large. <laughs> well, we talk We're like, about lose my number. Yeah. <laughs> About, remember the, the guy that, that had, I think, the world's largest penis? And it was something like 19 inches? And, you know, but he, it had caused him so much severe disability because he couldn't right. work, you know, and, and there's the, the could, functional he element. Have a where girlfriend? He, yeah, and so, um, you know, size may matter, but maybe may matter more if it's. If it's ginormous, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, two, two feet. Isn't no, doing, that's not. You know. I think this is where I think the safest way to put it is this is where you want to strive for average. Yes, right? that's right. Just want average. to be average. Ah, all right. A lot of you probably remember.